<laughs> what a savage bird of prey. Caca! Swooping down and grabbing its prey, masticating it in midair with its mighty beak and talons. I gotta tell you, the power of the white falcon is scalding my brain, which maybe explains what just happened. Listen, Joseph, tell us a little bit about this 55 white falcon. Is this one of these things where it's a nod out to a year? To yeah, absolutely. We pay in tribute to specific models and eras and years of models that, uh, that certainly made a, a huge impact on the Gretsch company. Mm -hmm. 1955 is where the falcon first came into existence. The gloriousness of this guitar, which makes it real special, uh, not only is it lacquered finish, but it's got a solid spruce top as well. The original white falcons in 1955 didn't have a, a, to, a, a, a sound post. Okay. It had two uh, what we call uh, tone bars, spruce tone bars underneath the top to support it. And it's just a big open box. So it rings out really nice. Yes. And with the lacquer finish and the combination of the spruce top with the uh, uh, treble bleed circuit on the uh, master volume, yes. TV Jones, T. Armin pickups. It's just a beautiful, glorious guitar. The Cadillac G tail piece. It's awesome. And of course, the new old deep deep pick guard <laughs> the right? pick guards pick guards of the right depth and girth which is something i think that a falcon itself would be proud to perch upon <laughs> <laughs> let's talk a little bit about things that have always been on these guitars and that's the go golden sparkle Binding. Yeah, it's uh, the, the bling, if you will. Yeah, you know, uh, Gretsch made drums long before they made guitars. In fact, they really started there. Guitars in the uh, early 1900s, late 1800s, it wasn't a popular instrument at that time. The popular music of the day was orchestra and yeah. band, marching band, that sort of thing. In fact, I just recently got a, ca a 1914 catalog from Fred Gretsch that shows the complete catalog of that era. There were a few guitars in there, but mostly band instruments, lots of banjos and mandolins and instruments of that era. But uh, certainly again in 1955 when the dawn of rock and roll and things were happening and uh, and you know going circling back to Gretsch drums if you will. Uh, Gretsch drums had sparkle yes. material that covered them. So uh, certainly uh, 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 when somebody looked over in the corner and saw some of that sparkle material and went oh, that would look great on the guitar. In fact, the, the, they made one that they showed at a trade show, the White Falcon, kind of as it wasn't even an idea to come out with a model, but they had it on display just, just because of the, the look and the rareness of it that was so stunning yes. that uh, at that trade show, people were going, I got to have that guitar. That's what started the Falcon phenomenon with Gretsch. Awesome. I so, get it. so the sparkle, the sparkle uh, material that you see, the binding, is actually drum material that they utilized. And uh, and it, what's important to note too, Gretsch is famous for their drums. They make a great sounding drum, and uh, uh, they've incorporated a lot of the physics of what makes a great sounding drum into the guitars as well. You'll notice too that if you, gosh, if you turn the turn the guitar around, yes. and you'll notice the uh, there's a gap in between the fretboard. Board. We call this extended fretboards, where there's a gap underneath the neck and the body. It doesn't join the the neck doesn't join the body uh, at the at the right. butt of the neck. It's extended, and what that does, it's all about resonance yes. and, and let, allowing the top to uh, to resonate when you you know when you strike the chord or a note, and as the uh, the energy is feeding through the body. Well, I'll tell you what, even unplugged. Mm -hmm. Just the whole thing is just, which makes great for like a, uh, you know, if you perform with a guitar, it's like putting on a Rolex watch. I yeah. mean, it's really wonderful to hold. Sounds great. And as you pointed out, as you pointed out, you're sitting at home and you're jamming, just playing by yourself. It's a great sounding guitar as Absolutely. well, acoustically. Tell me a little bit about this kind of Cadillac esque. Yeah, feature. we call that the Cadillac G tail piece. That was oh. something that was uh, developed back in that time period, and uh, we still use it today. Day. You know, the first car I ever owned was a Cadillac. Did you really? <laughs> it lasted about a year. <laughs> but that was a glorious year. It was a great year. You know what I'm saying? Young man in a Cadillac. Kind of like a young man with a scratch white falcon. You'd be walking around. 
I just play it everywhere. I walk into the bank, make a deposit. Hey, dig this. Hey, little, 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 little dig of my tailpiece. <laughs> Behold my falcon. <laughs> Behold my pet falcon. <laughs> You'd have lead, you'd be like Pied Piper, just legions of people following. I don't know why I'm following this fellow, but that guitar's magnificent. I don't know if people are ready for that kind of power. I don't know. I uh, think so. I think so, too. And yeah. this is the place in order to fulfill those needs here at Wild Woods. Now, we heard that neck pickup, and I've been trying to give a, a lot of, uh, you know, obviously they're great for Chet things and, and the original uh, usages of these guitars, but they're great for a variety of idioms. Uh, middle position on a Gretsch is a great funk position. Uh, Oh, if I could just get it to sound. I better pull off this thing right here. That sounds great. Add a little heat. That sounds good. Little bridge pickup action. <laughs> White Falcon, go, go! I'm sorry, we, we doing something here? <laughs> hey, you know what? Guitars are a mystical thing. They inspire, they take one away. And in these uncertain times, don't we need something we can hold on to and grasp to that inspires us to engage in fiendish musical Warcraft? Maybe. You might as well have a white falcon when you're doing it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Joe Carducci from Gretsch. We're having fun here in the Wildwood Lair. We got a bunch of videos coming out. Yep. We're doing it. We've done 500 videos already today, and they're all coming to you on Wildwood Vision or whatever you're watching this on. We'll see you guys later. <laughs>